So, where could a lesion be located in the nervous system that would account for Jim's chronic sinus symptom? No? We could, should we go to the board? Maybe draw a spinal cord? Start things off like that? All right, I'll go to the board. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. All right, so, we draw a spinal cord. Roughly. So, so that's this cross section of the spinal cord. So, if we've lost pain and temperature, that means we've obviously lost a specific track that we were taught. Does anyone remember the name of that track? Bart, I think we were talking about it yesterday. I think you got it. Yeah, it's the uh, the thalamus, the spinothalamic. Yeah, the spinothalamic track. Yeah, so that's carrying our pain and temperature sensation. And so, since we know it's that track, do we remember where in the spinal cord that that track actually runs? Anyone? Liz, you know this. I think we were talking about it in the lab. I think it's the one that just tucks right under the bar. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And we got that guy on both sides. It's, it's roughly like that. It's, it's the ankylosis one, right? Okay, and then since it's sensory information, Doris, do you remember where it's coming in? I got a 50 50 shot here. I, I do. Think, I think it's dorsal. It is dorsal, yeah, exactly. So we have it coming in, pain and temperature information traveling this way into the spinal cord dorsally. And then, do, does anyone remember the, like, the track it travels through? That fancy word. Bart, this is your tract. Starts with an L. You know it. All right. Liz? Lemma. 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 Okay, so where could a lesion be located in the nervous system that would account for Jim's chronic signs and symptoms? Sure. No, I can do it. I got it. I can I'll just start by drawing a spinal cord. Because then we can like visualize this a bit better. Alright, and the gray matter. Central canal. Okay, so if it's pain and temperature, then clearly it's the spinal thalamic tract. Okay, and that's located in that anterior right commissure. And then, since it's sensory information, it's fine. And since it's sensory information, it's coming in dorsally, because that whole thing. Sorry, please. Did you want to say something? And then, I'm not. What did you draw there? Sorry. Spinal thalamic tract. Okay. I don't think it's there. Sensory information. It's fine. Sensory information is coming in, and it's coming in dorsally, and it's gonna go into the spinal thalamic tract, and then all neural information goes up the central hey, canal, Sam. and then that. Sam, sorry. Um, yeah. yeah, thanks. Thanks for your help, but maybe Lise, I think you wanted to jump in. Do you want to... Yeah, something? A couple things. So I don't think the spinal thalamic tract is there. I, no, I can't remember. But I think it's just tucked this front okay. of the butterfly. Like if you just right there. Right here? Yeah. I think Liz is correct. Okay. I don't know. Here, you do it. Thank you so much. That makes more sense. Okay. Right, okay, okay, so it's there, but it's the same thing. Okay, yeah, so it's there, and then it's this information is coming in there, and then it's synapses here or whatever, and then it's going up the central canal. I don't think it does. I think tract means it travels in it, but it doesn't I'm, I'm just going to keep doing this and we can talk about it after. Um, so it's going up the central canal and then cause that's where the neural information travels to the brain. Okay, sorry, sorry to interrupt you again, but what would the other rest of the group think? Do you guys want to jump in? Maybe? 